So Parshas Vayichi is known for the Birchos Yaakov, the brachos that Yaakov gives to his sons. Now, a number of these uh, brachos don't seem to be like brachos. They seem to be somewhat of, like curses. Um, they really rebuke. Uh, how could they be called a bracho? So the simple explanation to that is is that when someone loves us, and even if they give us some rebuke, if we embrace the rebuke and we understand that they truly love us, then we're able to see it as a blessing because otherwise we would go through life without even knowing these things about us because sometimes while we know ourselves best, those uh, who are closest to us, like our parents, know us even better than we know ourselves. So Yaakov gives the brachos to his son, and he compares a number of his sons to different various animals. And I want to focus on one of them, which is Yehuda. Yaakov says about his son Yehuda that he is like an Aryeh, he is like a lion. What is it about uh, Yehuda that compares him to a lion? And Yaakov goes into a little bit of detail, and he says that just like a lion crouches down, so too Yehuda crouches down. What reference, what comparison is this between a lion and uh, Yehuda? So the Chidushi Harim explains to us that just like a lion crouches down, and even though, let's say, when it's hit, it'll crouch down, but as it crouches, it will be full of fierce determination to overcome anything that happens to it, and it will immediately jump back up and fight. And so the lesson that Yaakov is giving to Yehuda is recognize your gift, recognize your strength, that you are a person that when you were knocked down, you didn't simply roll over and give up on who you were, on your self-determination, on your sense of self, Rather, you were someone who recognized the situation that you, that you were in and you learned from your experiences and you got up and you were determined to make things right and to better your life. Of course, the example that Yaakov uses, we understand. Most notably, there are probably two examples, but the main example was the situation with Yehuda and Tamar that Yehuda realizes that he made a mistake when it came to his daughter-in-law Tamar, and he uses the word sud kamimeni, she was correct and I was wrong. Yaakov, his father, hears about the story. Yaakov realizes that Yehuda has a gift. His gift is that even though he was in a situation in which he was embarrassed terribly, he still understood how to recover, how to save face, and how to learn from the experience. So we can say the same thing is true when Yehuda stands up for Binyamin when it comes to the situation with Yosef in last week's parsha, having learned from the experience of that what he did when it came to Mechira, to the selling of Yosef. The lesson for us here is profound. That is that there are moments in life when we all get knocked down. We may get knocked down by other people. We may get knocked down by virtue of our own actions. We're knocked down into a place where sometimes we feel that we won't be able to get back up. And whether this is we're knocked down financially with a job that we used to have that perhaps was a very, a very, a very good job and now we're out of a job or we've been out of work or we're working in a situation in which we can't compare what, how our past previous jobs or perhaps we're in a relationship where we used to be in a very healthy relationship. We used to be in a relationship where we feel that we were able to give a lot and we were get a lot. But over time that relationship has changed. And we sort of say to ourselves, maybe I should just give up on the relationship. The lesson that Yaakov teaches us here is, be like a lion. Yehuda, a Yehudi, is like a lion. It's determined, it has power, it has energy, and it can overcome anything. If we take that approach with the various relationships in our lives, and with our approach to our own self-esteem and self-worth, then we'll be able to be successful, and we will be able to eventually live lives of determination and success. The success that Yaakov envisioned for his sons will be the success that we will be blessed with by virtue of being Yaakov's descendants of the future. Thank you for listening, and have a good Shabbos.